G'day guys, and Tim Tim here. Today we're going to learn about the generators that um, Blender has. Um, the generators are pretty much inbuilt textures that you can make. Uh, we have Noise, Wave, uh, Veronaroi, Musgrave, Gradient, and Magic. Sorry about that. Uh, we are going. Uh, so we are going to um, first. We're going to you know see what they are. So let's just go to rendered. So as you can see, um, um, we have a noise texture and we have a glossy texture to go to to see where the noise, the generators are. To go to Shift A, shader, no texture, and there they are. Now um, you can connect your noise texture. You have to connect your noise textures to a shader BSDF. Um, otherwise, it won't work. I'm using a glossy because it shows more. It you know it just shows. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. So this is the noise texture. Um, let's just put the black and white there because uh, you can have it in color, but I'm gonna have it in black and white. Okay, so first we have here the scale. The scaling is pretty much the scale of the noise. As you can see, the higher we go, the more detailed it becomes. Oh, that's a bit more better. We also have the detail. The detail picks up, well, the detail and the distortion. Let's set that to 500. And let's set the uh, the dis distortion up. Um, the uh, the noise text the um, each note also has the frac. The frac is the uh, displacement. So to really see, it, we're going to put the frac on. And as you can see, the noise texture really pops out. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Marvellous. So here I just have my RGB to get rid of the colour, um, a glossy to connect to the noise to, and the noise itself going into the material output. So that's the noise texture. What do we have next? We have the wave texture. Let's test this out. The wave texture is um, really good for uh, wood, um, to what I've seen. Let's just get rid of the bump from the noise. Um, as you can see, you have rings and blends. I find both of them quite. Uh, you can merge both of them with a mixed texture, but we'll just cover it. We just do all of this now. You can change the scaling of it, so this would be really uh, thick. Where if you put it, to, let's just say a hundred, it will be a lot of lines going everywhere. Uh, the distortion of the generator is very crazy. Uh, let's just set it to two, and it just wobbles it out of. Con it looks like um, brains or uh, gasoline with those colours. Um, the detail is the detail, pretty much the same of it. Of it. Uh, detail scale um, is the detail of how much you've scaled it by. So that's going really small and really. So let's just put it to the two. I oh, am yeah, very fine. Very useful. Um, let's see what the frac on. Oh yeah, very minute. You can get a lot of good bump maps with that. Render it with a 10k on the CPU, and then you get some very interesting renders. Okay, what else do we have? We have the Verano texture. Sorry for the pr mispronunciation. Um, let's test this out. Render. Um, so it pretty much works just like the. Uh, Oh, it's more of a cell-based um, texture. 
Whoa! Definitely cell based texture. Um, let's get the converter. There we go. I mean, that'll be actually a good material for like. Um, Oh, I already have a scale. Sorry about that. So that'll be really good for some tech, for those uh, crisis suits sort of thing. Oh, hang on. Let's pull the bum mapping on. <sighs> Sorry, it does this. So, let's get the... And bam. Oh, wow. That... That's amazing. Now test that with um, glass and translucent with a rainbowed ramp and holy shit. You'll get some pretty good textures with that. So that's the first three. I'll be going through the next um, in my next following video tutorials. Thank you and see ya.